That means that um, economic development alone is insufficient to improve significant progress in important dimension of women's empowerment, particularly decision-making ability in the face of persistent stereotype. This is something that we can actually affect. Decision-making can be affected by policy, for example, with quota. And in fact, there is evidence that we, um, that we found in, in West Bengal that you remember the bias that I was talking about, that women, that respondents who are faced with the same speech think that the speech given by a woman is worse than the speech given by the man. So this speech experiment we did in this context of the quota policy. And now if you compare people who have had the experience of having a woman because, they've, uh, because of the quota, so it's been forced upon them, now they have the experience of having a woman, this bias actually disappears when you start, uh, when, they, uh, when they have had the experience of having a woman. So it shows that you force people to make decisions they don't want to make, and then it can indeed change the social equilibrium in a more persistent way. The bias disappears, and indeed they are much more likely to elect women down the road. However, it means that this will require policy action. This policy action might be self-sustaining, but it will be needed. This policy action uh, will help uh, women and will help maybe boys also in some dimensions, but at the expense of others, they don't come for free either. So neither economic development nor empowerment is unfortunately the magic bullet that we'd love to find to solve the development problem or to solve the gender equality problem. To bring about equality between men and women, it will be necessary to take policy action that favor women at the expense of men, and probably it will be necessary to do it for a long time. The collateral benefits will be there. We've seen that they will be there, but they might not be sufficient to fully compensate men. So we may need to continue to have the political courage to stand for equity for its own sake. Thank you very much. <laughs>